What's up y'all, I'm Jordy, and today I'm going to be playing a Delphox team. I found this team over on Moxieboost's channel, so I'll leave a link to that. Not sure exactly who the creator is, maybe it's this Ralph fella up in the top. But anyways, the idea behind this is Delphox is a fast and strong expanding force user. And it's maybe it's a little weaker and a little slower than Espeon, but it's got better stats than Espeon, and it has a secondary typing that it can use. So we pair this with Ndidi to set the Psychic Surge. This Ndidi can stop Trick Rooms with Imprison. It can follow me to let Delphox set up with Nasty Plot or just get a free hit off. Or to let Sneasler set up with Swords Dance or get a free hit off. Or let this Como-O set up with Iron Defense. There's a lot of cool Pokemon on this team, including a Choice Band Meowskarata up there. And Murkrow just to have our own Tailwind, plus Haze. It's just good. But anyways, there's the rental code for you if you want to try it. Let's jump into these battles. Oh, cool team! Weezing, Toadscrool, Galarian Weezing, with Pelipper, Blastoise, Pikachu, and Sarina. It's gonna be hard to get Psychic Surge going with Weezing on their side of the field. Though, they would be weak to Psychic on their Weezing, I could just try that anyway. Sneasler's not gonna get its Psychic Seed then. Como-O might be vulnerable to a Burn or a Fairy move. We're trying to Fire though. Uh, we have no ability immunity to Spore. We don't have Taunt on Murkrow, so Meowskarat is our Spore immunity. I think Indeedee Delphox might be fine. Get rid of the Weezing. Maybe something else and put Indeedee in the back. Maybe I could lead Meowskarata. Which does absolutely nothing to a Weezing. Alright, uh, I guess I could lead Sneasler. Put Indeedee in the back. Indeedee, all it's gonna do is use Follow Me and get Spored. That's fine, actually. I'm gonna do Delphox, Indeedee. I still want Sneasler, and then maybe Meowskarata? Yeah, I think I want Meowskarata. It can do some big damage into everything that isn't Weezing, so it's probably worth it. This is going very offensive here. Some of their mods do want their ability, like Pelipper. Decent card, decent card. I'll take it. They're gonna start with... Pikachu Pelipper. Okay, we get our Psychic Surge, which means we can Expanding Forces. But it means that they could wide guard. I could Terra Psychic just for the purpose of not being weak to Weather Ball if they go for that. And then maybe bring in my Sneasler. Just have something else to attack. I want to go for the expanding force. If they don't have wide guard, they're going to wish they did. And yeah, I'm going to go right into Sneasler. I don't really see an attack coming straight into an Ndidi anyway. Plus we'll get the special defense boost from our Psychic Seed. If they bring out Weezing, they can turn off the Unburden, but I think we're faster than most of their team anyway. All right, here comes Expanding Force. You can't both be Sash. You could Wide Guard, though. But if you're Wide Guarding, at least one of your Mons isn't doing anything. So I kind of got Sneasler in, sort of safe, maybe. No Wide Guard. Perfect. One of you is going down, the other one's going to one. Pikachu's gone. All right, I like that. I'll get rid of a Pikachu. Especially because I Terrastalized here just to try to take a Weather Ball, which I think Delphox should be able to do. And they set Tailwind. Okay, that's okay. Should've Trick Room. <laughs> Not gonna Expanding Force again because they might have Wide Guard. Here's Blastoise. We've got a special defense boost on Sneasler. We have Protect on Delphox, just to stall a little bit. We don't have Sucker Punch on Meowskarata, which is a little annoying. 
I can protect just this turn. And I want to go for a Dire Claw, see if I can get a status on the Blastoise. If they just Water Tear a Water Spout, though, I don't know if plus one Special Defense Sneasler takes that. Especially if they double in. But also, Sneasler is so bad. We've only got 84 speed investment, but if we're faster than Blastoise with that, then we're just golden. Pelipper protects. Alright, I wasn't hitting Pelipper anyway. Come on, be faster than Blastoise. Blastoise is a slow Pokemon, you're a fast Pokemon. Come on. Yes, we're faster. Beautiful. You can Water Spout now, I don't- Oh, and you're paralyzed. Delphox is gonna be faster next turn. And now that you're at half health, I don't see this knocking out Sneasler. I think at the plus one special defense, it would've KO'd from full. Yeah, it would've done almost double. Eh, it might've been close, but yeah, I think it would've KO'd. Well, now we get to Expanding Force. Now that we know Delphox is gonna be faster than Blastoise. We don't know if Sneasler is gonna be faster than Pelipper or not. I would expect Sash Peller to be, her to be 117. Oh, psh. Oh, we're so fast. Sneasler is so fast. Yeah, we're faster. Expanding Force. Dire Claw the Pelipper. Battle's just canceled. Yeah, what can you do? Ooh, okay. Big start for Delphox. Sneasler cleanup. Quick, easy battle. I'll take it. All right, here we go versus Lily Cole, Indeedy Armourouge, Ursaluna, and Gallade. It's exactly what I brought to the Grand Challenge, but with Gallade instead of Zor. It's a very powerful team. I think our own Psy Spam could be useful. We have Imprison, especially on Indeedy, which is excellent. That'll block Follow Me, that'll block Trick Room. Can't let Trick Room go up. So I'm gonna go with Indeedy. I go with Indeedy and probably Delphox. Like, they could have Gallade to Wide Guard. Do I have U-Turn on Meowskarada? No. I mean, Meowskarada wouldn't be bad. Powerful knockoff or, or Flower Trick into something. Could be cool. Then Medelfox in the back, and maybe Sneasler? Maybe not. Murkrow doesn't seem very useful with Haze. My answer into Lily Cole would just be a big knockoff from Yaskarada. In fact, I think Delphox is a better lead into Lily Cole. Just because of the spread move. So I do like that better. I do like Yaskarada still. And I think I'll go Sneasler. I don't see Como O doing too well. It's good into like Ursaluna, but nothing else. And it's all right into Torkoal. I guess. Oh, we do have Overcoat, so I guess it's all right into Lily Cole. Hmm. Decent card you got, too. I, I don't think it's gonna be Lily Cole, but if it is, maybe Como O could have been the answer. Oh, what, what do you know? Okay. At least we have an answer to this. If they want to use After You, they're gonna have to send it at my Indeedy, because I'm clicking Follow Me. And then I get to Expanding Force. So their play would be Protect Torkoal, Sleep Indeedy, Live on a Sash, then you get to Eruption next turn, but I'm Sashed and a Fire-type, so that's not going to do too much anyway. Yeah, follow me. I don't have a Terra that helps. I don't have... I do have a Sleep Immunity in Meowskarada. But if I hard-called that, it wouldn't get me anywhere, because the next turn they could, they could after you Erupt. So I'm going to click Follow Me. I'm not going to Terra. And I'm going to click Expanding Force. And the target doesn't matter, they're not going to be able to turn- I guess they could turn off the terrain if they had like Ice Spinner a little again. Torkoal going straight Terra Fire, glad I hit it. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, if I had led Meowskarada, I guess I could knock off, but then if they just Heat Waved, I would have lost Meowskarada for like nothing. They do go for the Sleep Powder, but Torkoal didn't protect, which is huge. If we can take this KO with Expanding Force, that would be awesome. Ooh, Torkoal lives on a little sliver. Show me Eruption, not Heat Wave. 
I can't see them going for Heat Wave. Yeah, it's Eruption. Okay. I mean, no, I could totally see them going for Heat. I don't know why they didn't go for Heat Wave, actually. Thinking about it. Uh, and DD is guaranteed sleeping this turn. No reason to click anything of anything. I'm just gonna follow me there. Question is whether I want to protect to stall out a little bit. If they're locked into eruption and have to swap, they're just gonna go for sleep powder on Delphox, right? Might as well start burning sleep turns now rather than later. DD stays asleep. It has to. They do connect the Sleep Powder into Delphox. I could have protected there, maybe gone for a one turn sleep on NDD, redirect the Sleep Powder. But they also could have missed. There's just Sash anyway. They're only getting 75 accuracy on those. Here's Heat Wave. That should do some decent damage to Delphox. Yeah. A crit on Delphox. Oh, of course, of course. Let me try to get the Follow Me this turn. and try to wake up in Expanding Force? Or do I try to wake up and Protect? If I wake up with Ndidi, I can redirect a Close Combat or an After You. I think I want to follow me and try to Expanding Force. Ndidi stays asleep, so if it's just a hit into Delphox, we do lose both Pokemon. Solar Blade. I think that would be into Indeedy, right? Yeah, so if Delphox gets the one turn wake, Indeedy didn't get the one turn wake. But if Delphox gets the one turn wake, we're in business. Yeah, goodbye. Your lead is defeated. I tried to make that rhyme, it didn't work. Goodbye Torkoal, goodbye Terra, goodbye Lilligant. And what, two more turns of Expanding Force? But I only have one Life Orb tick left. Okay. They probably have Psychic types remaining. I want to put in Yaskarada. Big knockoff could be huge. Yeah, there's their Ndidi. My Mount Meow Skarada. And their, I assume, Armor Rouge. Okay. And they have Psychic Seed on their Ndidi. Cool. I don't see you going for Expanding Force yourself. I could see Wide Guard plus Trick Room. Knock off into the Armor Rouge would be pretty devastating, actually. It's their main damage remaining. So if I knock off their Armor Rouge, that'd be great. So they have to click Follow Me. And if they click Follow Me and Wide Guard, what's the point? I'm wondering if I need to want to Expanding Force, or I think Flamethrower into the DD is better. I think I want to flamethrower Ndidi, just in case like Armor Rouge protect, yeah. Get some damage onto Ndidi. Hmm. So should I have doubled into Ndidi? Knock it out? Because now they're gonna get Trick Room up. I'm gonna get my Sneasler in. And then they click Expanding Force. And then they click Armor Cannon. Or do they flip that? Because they have one more turn of Sun, one more turn of Psychic Terrain. They could Armor Cannon my Meowth Skarada. Or they, they could Armor Cannon and if they have Psychic on Indeedy, just Psychic my Sneasler. That's the problem. I don't have Terra left. Wait, do I have Terra left? Oh, I do have Terra left. Oh yeah, that's going on Sneasler. Okay, wait a minute. We might be fine. I'm going to try to knock off Armor Rouge. I'm going to Terra to live a Psychic move. Hmm. 
Masquerada would go first. So the Dire Claw could get redirected into Armourage. I send them in DD. Yeah, okay. If they follow me and I get knock off onto their NDD. Maybe I should have gone after Armor Rouge anyway, in case they armor cannon plus psychic. Yeah, I think it was I think it was better to just double target into Armor Rouge there. Oh no, that might be what they're doing. Can we eat this in the sun? No, we are in Miascarada. Yeah, and then with minus one defense, we might have been alright. We have plus one special defense on our Sneasler. Psychic shouldn't do too much, right? No. And no drop. That's good. Now the question is Acrobatics or Dire Claw. Dire Claw has a chance of Sleep and Poison, which would boost what we can get. But acrobatics is just more damage. our attack stat looking like? Oh, we got a lot of attack. I think acrobatics plus another tick of... Oh, they have a minus one special... Minus one physical defense, yeah. And they should click armor cannon here, which I think we eat. Then they have minus two and we acrobatics and they get knocked out. Yeah, that's the play. We just have to eat this armor cannon, which I'm pretty sure we do. Yeah, three HP! Let's go, Sneasler! Oh, yeah. If I had gone for Dire Claw there and not gotten any status, then they would have the ability to follow me and do that, because I don't have to attack. Yeah, we take them out. Let's go! Woo! Oh, I was so... I thought I didn't have Terra left. I was so worried. But yeah, that Terra on Sneezler worked. Let's go. GG. Alright, here we go versus Tyranitar, Gastrodon, Amoongus, Archaladon, Garchomp, Talonflame. Very... Strange team. The Archaladon with Tyranitar leads me to believe it might just be a Power Herb Electro Shot set. Delphox cannot touch a Tyranitar, but Sneasler sure can. They're going to want to Tailwind Earthquake in against me, but Flying Terra Sneasler is great there. It's great for baiting out Tyranitar's Terra. I like Delphox. Do I want to match Tailwind? Ooh, I also have Sunny Day. Maybe I want to match Tailwind with Murkrow. Because then I have the faster Mons. I need something to hit Tyranitar, something to spam Expanding Force, and I need Ndidi. That means I can't afford Miascarada. Alright, who do I lead then? Do I lead with Delphox? Do I lead? No, I lead with Sneasler. And Murkrow. I have Terra Flying if they go with one of their ground types, which is great. And then Indeedy, Delphox in the back. Not having a Spore immunity might be annoying. This definitely could have been a game where Como O shines. Like, in fact, I could have just decided not to. Oh, that's so cute. I could have decided not to match Tailwind and just also fit Como O onto this squad. That might have been a better play. Talonflame. And Tyranitar. Okay. I don't hate I don't hate that. I threaten the close combat. They threaten the Brave Bird. Would they want to swap out Tyranitar or would, would they want to let me close combat them? I can Tailwind Terra Close Combat. Is there any good reason for me to actually Close Combat Tyranitar? They're not going to allow that, right? I'm going to Terra Flying Acrobatics their Talon Flame. I think there's no way they let me CC their Tyranitar. And if they do... I'd probably lose off of this play, actually. I should have thought about that. I should have just close combated anyway. Even, like, worst case, I lose Sneasler and they Terra. Okay, they are gonna trash line. We're fine. Made the right call. 
because now I can size spam you. Yeah, terrifying. Uh, if we just match Tailwind, that's fine. If you go for Brave Bird, that's also fine. Yeah, we're just matching Tailwind. Alright, I have the faster team. And I don't have to take any free damage on Sneasler. It is probably a Rock Slide, though. So I terrestrialized for basically nothing and made myself even weaker. Flying Terror. Okay, we, we did have to try slice a little bit Flying Terror Blast. Perfect. Their Talon Flame is faster than my Sneasler still until I bring out Psychic Terrain. Which I can do now, and then I can proc the thing, get the double damage acrobatics. Go into Indeedy. Speed up my Sneasler. But then I think I'd rather just get a Dire Claw off onto Tyranitar. Yeah. I don't really care much for taking out Talonflame. That'll just get them into a better threat. No matter who I hit here with Sneasler, the other one can knock out Sneasler. And I did mess up by clicking Acrobatics. I had forgotten I hadn't used my item yet. So, uh... Dire Claw was the better play there. But neither, neither of them was going to O-code his talent plane. It took that really well. Alright, now I'm speedy. Now I can get a Dire Claw into your Tyranitar. Maybe even get a status. Nope. Oh, Brave Bird onto my Indeedee. Okay. Is Double Rock Slide going to double connect and double KO? No, Indeedee's too bulky. Alright, helping hand expanding force time. Thank you for putting me in the exact position I wanted. Tyranitar is faster than my indeed. Interesting. I am not an in speedy. Oh, I, I am a negative nature. That's not surprising then. Okay. Talonflame can get a hit here. Do I much care on who or what? I guess I should just follow me. Expanding Force. I think that's plenty to take out Tyranitar from here. If it's not, well, <laughs> Delphox is just weak. Or Tyranitar is just too good. Tyranitar just protects. Oh, we now know it's not Assault Fest. Alright. Maybe I should have preserved... Yeah, I guess maybe I could have tried to preserve Indeedy there and gone straight into Murkrow. Or tried to let them Brave Bird Delphox if they wanted. So I could keep the Follow Me or keep the Helping Hand live. Because if they have Garchomp next, I'm a little scared. I guess against Garchomp I could protect Foul Play into it and then Expanding Force next turn. Assuming they let my Murkrow go. I wasn't paying attention to the speed between Tyranitar and Murkrow. Because the Sand Chip would have revealed that to me. Alright, someone sociable is coming out. Garchomp? Yep. That's the play. Rock Slide. I think Murkrow can eat. We've got lots of Psychic Terrain left. We've got a Pokemon faster than Garchomp. So yeah, I like Foul Play. I think I could take a Rock Slide. I'll Foul Play the Garchomp, and I will protect. Protect. 
because I'm not confident in expanding force knocking it out. Ooh, did they just go for a double rock slide? Good play. Really good play. Murkrow's not going to eat this. Double up. But I do get some life orb chick. Tip for it. Chip for it. Dodge it, dodge it, dodge it. Ooh, that was a really good play. Now I have to count on that life orb tick on Garchomp being enough. I don't think it will. I think I needed to click connect that foul play. Tailwind is gone for both of us. I'm still fastest on the field. Well, here we go. Garchomp can either eat this or it can't. Let's find out. I couldn't have saved Terra. I needed it on Sneasler. All comes down to this. Garchomp could just dodge. If it's Sandvale, it could just dodge. We know they're Life Orb. There's no way we're living a hit if they switch to a ground move here. And they just dodged the move. Now we'll never know. Oh. Click Rock Slide again. Click Rock Slide again and miss. It's only fair. Nope, they go to Stomping Phantom this time. That's gonna KO. GG. <laughs> All right, I guess. Uh, I guess I could have Sunny Dayed with Murkrow if I knew you were gonna double into it. <laughs> oh, I think I played this mostly correctly. I, I don't think I made any major mistakes. It just happens like that. GG. All right, we've got Palmot, Porygon 2, Golden Go, Palafin, Amoongus, and Cineroar. Firewater Grass Swappy Core with a Porygon 2 for some reason and Golden Go Palmon. Two fake outs and a redirector to help Golden Go set up. Two fake outs and a redirector to help Trick Room go up. I definitely want my Spore immunity in Como O. I think Como O is great here, especially with the Terrifier. Terrifier, immune to Spore. Doesn't care about Intimidate. Should be excellent. Maybe I even lead in DD just to help Como O set up. Redirect anything crazy that's coming my way. The one problem with going Terra Fire would be Palafin. So we want Miascarada to deal with Palafin. Or maybe even Murkrow with Sunny Day. <laughs> That'd be silly. No, there's no, there's no real value in Murkrow. Meowskarada for another Spore Immunity, and Delphox because we're setting Psychic Terrain. Sneasler seems like it would have been fine, except it can't touch Golden Go with this set. We don't have Throat Chop. So I like this. Turn 1, they can't fake out because they don't have any way to get rid of our terrain automatically. They might have, like, I don't know, Electric Terrain Palmot. That's a cool card. So we should be able to get an iron defense up and then start going crazy with body presses. Alright, instant Palafin. They just want to disrupt, maybe even get Palafin in right away. The only thing I care about that these two could do is Will-O-Wisp. And I don't want to burn Terra Fire right now, so all I need to do is set up an iron defense and follow me just to scout for whether they have Will-O-Wisp. After a few iron defenses, I might be okay to turn into a fire type. But I'll need at least two iron defenses before I feel safe against Palafin, because Palafin's strong. That flip turn did a lot. And they have flip turn, which is a little scary. And Amoongus. Ah, don't care about Amoongus. That's fine. If you. Parting shot out, I don't care. If you have Will-O-Wisp, I care. You just click knock off. That's probably fine. We know we're faster than you. I'm just gonna body press you now. And I think I'll threaten expanding force on the other slot. Yeah. I'll threaten expanding force, but will I actually click it? No. Because you're gonna protect Amoongus, or you're gonna Terra Amoongus. And then you're try to, gonna try to get a spore off onto my Delphox. 
So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna feel you out. I'm gonna see what you got. I'm just gonna body press protect. Withdraw of Incineroar. Okay. Golden Go? Palafin. Oh, free body press. Thanks. I'll take it. If I had just clicked Expanding Force there, I would have gotten two KOs. Man, what a missed opportunity. And Rage Powder? I, you're about to find out that doesn't work on Overcoat Pomoa. Delphox should be faster unless they're Scarf. We know they're faster than Como O. We know they're faster than Delphox. We know we don't know they're faster than Delphox, sorry. We know they're faster than Indeedee. I don't think they're Scarf. I think we're fine to body press a Moongus in case it tears defensively. Oh, I guess I could Terra here. Terra Psychic. Expanding Force. Just in case they're like Scarf Wave Crash. This is probably unnecessary. I wonder if this would actually not save me. In the case that they're like Scarf Terra Water Wave Crash. Uh, here's a Rage Powder. Don't care. I'm targeting you with both of these hits. One of which is spread. Yep. Palafin's gonna go down to that. And probably a Moongus, too. Yeah, bye. Thank you for playing. Get out of here. It's time for you to tear your Incineroar. Which allows me to Expanding Force it. And then who's your last? If it's Golden Go, we've got two Flamethrowers coming its way. And it wouldn't want a Terra in front of Body Press and Expanding Force, which is great. Plus we have Meowskarata in the back to just finish it off if they Terra something else. Porygon 2 and Incineroar. Okay. Really don't care. Special attack on Porygon 2? I care a little. Alright, I'm going to Body Press the Incineroar. Because if it doesn't Terra, that should knock it out. And if it does Terra, we're backing it up with Expanding Force. If it doesn't Terra, the Expanding Force just hits Porygon 2. It's my best damage into Porygon 2. Okay, they don't Terra either. Do, do they not have a Terra button? Maybe they don't want to. Over half to P2. That's incredible. That's gone soon. Body press. Incin is gone. Let's go. Omo, oh. Getting after it. And you said Shrimp Room. Oh no, now you're gonna move first. Whatever will I do? Here's where you bust out Terra finally, right? You got to. Because even if you recover up to full, you're not taking this combo. If you're Terra Poison, which is common, you're going to go down to Expanding Force from full. If you're Terra Ghost, you're going to be left on like 25% HP from the Expanding Force. So it's like, what, what do you got? Fighting in Psychic is hard to take unless you are a Psychic type. If you've got Terra Psychic P2, go for it. Ghost? Yeah. You're gonna be able to take the body press, but then Expanding Force is gonna bring you down to the red. Even if you recover. Oh, you don't even recover. So you, you knock out Delphox here. Okay. That makes sense. Terra Ghost, Terra Blast. Trick Room. I would guess Recover and... Ice Beam? I guess you could try to Ice Beam, knock out my Meowskarata, and then win 1v1 versus Como. Oh, uh, maybe. That might work. If a plus one Ice Beam can knock out Meowskarata. All I can do is Flamethrower. And knock off is what I want to do anyway. Battles just can't. Oh, they don't have anything that can knock out Meowskarata. Perfect. GG. And we're back. Delphox did great. Sneasler did great. Como O did great the one time I let it show up. Maybe I should have brought him more. Uh, or her more, sorry. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed it as well. There's the rental code for you in the corner. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We recently broke 2,000, which is amazing. I love you all. Uh, but anyways, I'm Jordy, and uh, alright. Peace.